Hello guys, a few months ago I showed you how to install Windows 11 on your MacBook using Parallels Desktop 17. In today's video I would like to show you Parallels Desktop 18. It was just released for the M2 series processors. This new version brings some new features and optimizations for the M1 and M2 processors, so your Windows 11 virtual machine will be running even better with this new version of the software. M, get these assholes in the closet! Hurry! You! In the back! Come on! He's gonna kill us in here! Leave us alone! We didn't do shit! Let's check what the parallel says about this new 18th version of the app. Run more than 200,000 Windows apps on a Mac, including Windows Office. Download and install Windows OS on your Intel or Apple M series Mac computer. Seamlessly copy and paste text on drag and drop files between Mac and Windows. Develop and test across multiple OS's in a virtual machine for Mac. Run Windows applications effortlessly without slowing down your Mac. Why would you like to have Windows on your MacBook? The reasons can be multiple. For example, you would like to use a special type of software that exists only on Windows or you would like to play a special PC game on your Mac and you don't have a Windows computer as a second machine, which is the reason I decided to install Windows 11 on my M1 Pro 16-inch MacBook. And in this video, I will show you if Parallels 18 is any better than Parallels 17 and if it's worth the money to upgrade. To install Windows 11 on your Mac, go to the Parallels website and download the app. You can have 30 day free trial period. That's cool because you can test the application and find out if you like it or not. Once you get the app, it's very simple to get Windows 11. You just need to follow the instructions of the Parallels app. It will download, install and configure everything automatically for you. Just click next, ok, next and it will do the job for you. That's why I like the Parallels app, it's very simple and fast. As you can see, I already installed Windows 11 on my computer and upgrading from Parallels 17 to Parallels 18 did not break my virtual machine. Everything works just fine as it was before the upgrade. All my games and apps are still there and I even installed some new ones like Forza Horizon 5 and others. By the way, I also made a video about the gaming experience via Parallels Desktop. Check it out if you're interested in running PC games on Mac. The link of the video will be in the description as well. New features in Parallels 18. It is optimized for new macOS Ventura, Intel and Apple M series chips, including M2, and has everything you need to boost performance. Easy to set up, download, install and configure Windows 11 in one click. Optimized for the latest Apple hardware, improved compatibility with Apple's ProMotion technology, delivers optimized synchronization between Mac and Windows. Enhanced gaming experience, automatically use your Xbox or DualShock Bluetooth controller for the ultimate gaming experience. That's actually a nice feature, now you can use your PS5 controller with your virtual machine and Windows. Sounds cool. Use Windows side by side with macOS on your MacBook, no restarting required. Lightning fast. Graphic and resource hungry Windows applications run effortlessly without slowing down your Mac. Run applications such as Microsoft Office, Power BI and hundreds more. Play your favorite classic Windows only PC games. Choose your view. Make Windows invisible while still running its applications in coherence mode. Or if you're new to Mac, you can set Windows to occupy your entire screen, so it looks just like it would if you were using a Windows PC. That's cool because sometimes I need to run a Windows app for just one simple task and I can do that with Parallels Desktop and it looks like a normal app for macOS. How do I play Windows games on Mac? Play hundreds of Windows only games on a Mac using Parallels Desktop. Enable the gaming profile to give more RAM and CPU power to Windows for optimal performance and experience. Download a free 14 or 30 day trial of Parallels Desktop and see if your desired game is supported. Parallels 17 vs Parallels 18 The only difference I saw is the optimization for M1, M2 based computers. Games are running better and faster, but it was already good in Parallels 17, so if you have the previous version, I don't think you should upgrade to the Parallels 18. Now let's see how Parallels Desktop 18 runs GTA 5 on my 16-inch M1 Pro MacBook Pro. Alright, you gonna do this? Huh? 
<laughs> Show me the money! Slow and steady, team. Slow and steady. up here for us all to enjoy. Depends on how you look at it. What's the holdup? Come on out, me! Give it up! Ah. I got him! Ah. I saw your face. I remember you. You could get a thousand things every day. How about you make sure this is one of them? I've seen his eyes. He's crazy. No one's crazy. Right thing. Ah. You didn't have to do that. Let's get going. It'll be time for grieving. Drop it, prick! Don't be as dumb as you look. Get their faces! Get out of here! Back the fuck down! Fuck these guys! Get down! As you can see, it's good. It uses up to 40-50% of my CPU, no hitting issues at all, I don't see any difference between the previous and the new version. But I suppose that the 18th version is more tuned and refined internally, let's say. Guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. Check out my other videos on my channel as well. Thanks for watching and see you later on YouTube. Bye bye.